Hi, I'd like to check out. Name? Joe Holland. Joe Holland? Greg, this is the guy I was telling you about. His father was the ambassador to Switzerland. Sweden. Oh, right, right. And the first black director of the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, initial here. So you've graduated. Will you be working for your father? Oh, yeah. No. I'm moving with some friends to Harlem. In New York City? Yes. Uh, do I need to fill out a mail forwarding card or something? Well, hopefully you'll be. Oh, definitely. Well, yeah, not, I hope you, you know, you're able Why Harlem? To time off now and again. Well, we just like to try to address some of the needs of the black community, you know, socially, economically, yeah. spiritually. Try and make a difference. Yeah. Your father must be really proud of you. Yeah. Thanks. Take care. I'll drop you a line. doing a survey on spiritual listeners. Would you mind if I asked you questions? Hi, uh, can I ask you some questions about the holiday season? Look, we're doing a survey. Listen, would like to ask a few questions about what Christmas means to you. Sorry, bro. Hello, man, I want the group called the Harlem's Ark of Freedom. No, and we're here to tell you. people how God can change their lives. That's okay. You know, you think with it being so close to Christmas, people would be more interested in talking about spiritual issues. Hello. Maybe we're reaching out to the wrong people. Joe, I don't think you should do that. Why not? He's, he's harmless. Just, just pray for me, okay? Be careful. Hi there. Hello. Are you looking for food? Are you lost? No, no, um, we're out here, well actually, I'm out here today to talk to people and tell people about Jesus Christ and how he can make a change in their lives. It's a nice coat you have on. Thank you. My place is just a couple of blocks from here. We could go there and get a few sandwiches and you can get stuff cleaned up. Maybe I wouldn't mind so much. Great, great, um, I'm, I'm Joe, Joe Holland. Harvey. Harvey! Yeah. I brought you some clothes. Cool, cool. Looks like you guys will be in too much action on the streets today. Yeah, we've had better days. How long were you on the street? Oh, since my wife threw me out. Your wife? Yeah, she started bugging after she found out I was spending the rent money on crack. She said, get out. Hey, this is expensive shampoo in here, isn't it? Where's your wife now? I'm supposed to be somewhere raising my daughter. I haven't seen her in a while. You have a daughter? Precious Jesus, we thank you for this meal, and we ask that you bless it in the name of our Lord. Amen. No, amen. What is this? It's turkey. Who's that? It's my father. Well, he looks like he got a lot of money. If I had me some money, man, I would get out of here and get myself together. You know what I mean? I do know what the Bible says. I got to be gone. I got to get the road. You don't mind if I take some leave, do you? No, you help yourself. Do you have a place to stay? Yeah, I've been out. Uh... Sleeping at the Army on 143rd Street. Okay. Um, listen, let's set up an appointment for us to meet at my law office on 125th Street. Okay? Here's yeah, my card. Very good. Here's my, here's my card. 
and here's twenty dollars to get yourself something to eat tonight. Okay. Hmm. So shall we say tomorrow around nine-ish? Yeah. Okay. Good meeting you, Harvey. Okay. Cool. God bless. Joe Holland, and I'm here to see where's the other the last I'm not really sure if he's here or not, but you can go take a look. Harvey, I know you stole those things from my Look, pocket. man, if you want that junk bag, man, I dumped it on the next block, okay? It didn't sell too good. Harvey, why did you steal from me when I'm trying to help you? Help me? Man, the only way you can help me is by getting me high, Joe, okay? $20 ain't gonna get it. Harvey, you can't spend the rest of your life getting high. God's got something better planned for you than Don't that. Don't tell me about God, man. I became a Christian when I was seven years old. I prayed and went to church and did all that. And where did it get me? Where's God today? Harvey, God is the same place he's always been. You're the one who ran away. Man, you look, though, you don't know nothing about where I've been, okay? okay? Okay, Harvey, maybe I don't, Harvey. Maybe I don't know. But where's your wife, Harvey? Where's your daughter? You don't know. And you know why? Because you're too busy serving your other God. Crack! I mean, you better leave me alone, man. Harvey, I'm not afraid of you. Because I know deep down inside you want to be helped. And I can help you. No. <clears throat> Where, where are you? What do you mean you're in trouble? Come here, D.D. What's wrong? Joe, my man. What's up? Why did you tell them I'm your lawyer? Because that was the only way they would let me see you, man. Listen, Joe. I got caught in a cross, man. I was in this house and I got busted for crack and I wasn't doing anything, man. Harvey, they told me you were arrested for selling drugs to an undercover cop and then you resisted arrest. What? Man, I'm telling you the truth, Joe. Look, man, I... I... Look, hey, okay, okay. I was taken in for selling drugs, but the stuff was fake. It was powder. And in a week, they'll take me before a grand jury and throw the case out when the lab tells them the stuff was baking powder. I don't have time for this, Harvey. Listen, Joe, I... 
I need you to post bail for me. This is the first Christmas I'll be away from my wife and my kid, and I don't want that. I can't find him, and I'm locked up in here. I need to get out of here, Joe. What kind of deal can we make, man? Talk to me. Come on. You know, maybe being in here is the best thing that can happen to you. It'll give you time to think about whether you want to spend the rest of your life in a prison. And if you don't, then you go tell the Lord, and then you come see me. Hey, Joe! Joe! Hey, Joe! church as a shelter for men it's it's more than just a shelter it'll be a program that will build the characters of the men who stay there i don't think our congregation is financially ready to support something like this okay i've been working as a real estate lawyer in 125th street okay? i've been putting funds aside for this project i am certain i have more than enough to cover the initial program costs and other funds will be coming in from the men and women in my Bible study. All I need is someone to donate the space. The homeless are always homeless. And no matter what you do, it's always just a drop in the bucket. We're talking about people. There's too much that could go wrong. I will be working part-time at my law office and giving up my apartment so I can live with these men. I will take full responsibility. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. Uh, Joe, grand jury dismissed my case this morning. I'm happy for you, Harvey. Yeah, you know, I had a talk with God. And I told him I wanted him in my life, you know. No more crack. Why should I believe you now, Harvey? Because you were the only one who reached out to me when I needed help. See, I told you they'd come. Lord. Good morning. My name is Joe Holland, and I'm the director of this shelter. And this is my assistant, Harvey. You call me your assistant? I only have enough room for ten of you. We said that there'd be room enough for all of us. Well, well, there isn't. That's not fair. 
But we'll be happy to refer the rest of you to shelters elsewhere. Yo, this is supposed to be different. It's not supposed to be like the other shelters, man. We're getting chipped, man. Come on, we're getting chipped. I, I apologize, but I can only take the first ten people in line. Yo, that's gonna be me. Yo, man, yo. Hmm? I'll be rising and shine, brother. Mm. Set the example, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody, rise and shine. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Rise and shine. Wake up. Get up. Get up. No. Oh. No. 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 My watch. My watch. My father gave me that watch. Last night, there was a thief among us. Stole my watch. Stole Brother Matthew's shoes. Stole all of Brother Damien's things. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, brothers, what needs to be transformed? I said, what needs to be transformed? Your mind. I said, what needs to be transformed? Your, your mind. mind. Amen to that. Let the enemy be Each day, I will teach you a new lesson on leading a sober, stable, and productive life. Some of you will meet with drug counselors others with social workers. And at the end of each week, you will be tested on what you have learned. And after you pass nine of these tests, we will help you find a job and eventually your own home. It's good to hear the progress you're making. But I have something I want to praise the Lord about. Go ahead now. Well, it was supposed to have been a surprise. <clears throat> but I got me a job. Oh, what? Right. Congratulations. Harvey, Harvey, you know the rules. It is important for you to pass all nine tests in the program before you can even begin to look for a job. But it's been too long. I want to be my own man, so when I find my wife, she'll take me back. But there are still important lessons you have to learn, lessons that affect your character. I'll take the test, Joe, but right now, I need a job. Harvey, I, I don't think you're ready yet. What do you mean you don't think I'm ready? Why don't we talk about this in private? No, whatever you have to say, say it now. I know it's late. I just came over to Leslie's apartment. All right, the men need to go to bed. If Harvey comes back before I return, you tell him we gave his bed away. He knows the rules of the program. If you're not in by lights out, you are out. Well, he can pick up his things later. All right, I'll be back soon. Bye. Joe, don't you think that was a little cold? I don't have a choice. If the men see me break the news for Harvey, they're gonna expect the same thing. You've done so much with Harvey. Maybe he needs a break right now. Harvey knows the rules of the program. You're probably the only one who can live up to your rules. And what is that supposed to mean? People make mistakes and they need forgiveness, okay? I can't bend the rules. Harvey doesn't need rules right now. He needs grace. 
He needs you to treat him like a friend. I don't even know if he's gonna come back tonight. What if he's what if he's on drugs again? You know, sometimes I just Harvey. Harvey isn't your success story. He's a human being. You've gotta have to deal with a lot more Harveys in your life. Lights out was 10 o'clock, Harvey. It's now 1.30. Where have you been all night? Will you just let me in, John? Not until you tell me where you've been. I've been out walking around thinking about things. Thinking about what things, Harvey? I've been fired, Joe. They fired me. Those guys don't know nothing about respect. Man, they treat you like dirt. Ain't nobody gonna treat me that way. I told them so. I'm sorry, Joe. I gave your bed away, but you can use mine tonight. Thanks, brother. I don't know if I can go through with this. I know you can. It's been so long. I don't know if you'll... I will be right there with you. How you doing? Um, how's Danielle? Joe tells me you're getting racked together. Yeah, well, um, I've been doing a lot of soul searching and, you know, exercising a little, be eating better, just chilling. Why are you wasting my time? Tammy, wait a minute, Tammy. Wait. Come back, please. I am different. How do I know you're different? For one, I've accepted God into my life. And I've been thinking a lot about you and Danielle. I want us to be a family again. I miss those days so much. See, there's a process that I'm going through. I'm taking it day by day. No more shortcuts. I need your help. I need you. What's going on? How are you doing? Well, we're doing pretty good, getting used to Brooklyn. My apartment's a little small. Tammy, do you mind me talking to Joe for a little bit? <laughs> so, man. Yeah. All right. I haven't seen you or heard from you for a while. Yeah, I know. Uh, with the job and the move, things have been kind of crazy, you know? How is the job? Well, working in security is pretty cool. Yeah. For now. <laughs> if you would have told me 
a couple of years ago that someday I'd be guarding stuff that I'd like to steal. Okay? <laughs> I wouldn't have believed you, Joe. <laughs> yeah. So how's Harlem, man? It's good. It's good. We took over the Harlem Travel Agency. Yeah. And hired men from the shelter to work there. From Harlem? Yeah. Yeah. We also um, opened the first inner city Ben and Jerry's. What's a Ben and Jerry's? Oh, it's, an, it's an ice cream store. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start seeing you more often. <laughs> Leave that. <Okay>. Good. <laughs> hey, Joe, um, I got something I want to give you. Give back, I mean. I took you to first night at the shelter. I stole all those other things too. That was a different heart here. Yeah, but even so, I'm sorry, Joe. It's okay. I mean, you could have taken this and then sold it for drugs, for money, for anything. But you didn't. Here it is. I want you to have it. What are you talking about? I want you to have it. Joe, your father gave you that watch. And I'm giving it to you. Let it be a symbol of the man you've become. Let's go have some ice cream. Ben and Jerry, huh? <laughs> I like Baskin Robbins. Mm -hmm.